Hi, this is Jennifer Madrill. In this video, we're going to see how you can embed some media within your Open Author document. We're going to be looking at how to do an image, a YouTube video, as well as a PDF. So starting out here, let's take a look at how we can embed an image. We'll do our search within the New York Public Library Digital Collections. As you can see here, they have literally hundreds of thousands of images that are digitized for our use. Many are in the public domain. So let's start out by looking at what's available for us if we wanted to do a search for the White House. So we'll go to the keyword search, type in White House. We are going to limit our search to those that are only in the public domain. And here we are. So let's go ahead and click on one of the images here. Let's select this one. And it opens up a page specific to that image. And we'll scroll down and look at some of what our options are. So as you can see here, it gives us the permalink. So that's the link to this page as well as the ability to download. And then we also have the ability to see appropriate ways to cite the item. And we'll come back to that option in a moment. But for now, let's go back to OER Commons and find the place within our document where we'd like to embed this White House image that we just found. So let's put it right here where it says presentation, demonstration, and modeling. And then we'll go over to our White House image. And we're going to go ahead and grab, first of all, we will grab the permalink and click it to copy. Then we'll go back over to OER Commons and click on the Insert Media. And then that's where we're able to post our URL and type a description of what this item is, put in White House, and there it is. There's the download link, which uh, folks will be able to click on, and it will take them directly to that image that we saw a moment ago. So there we are. You click on it, and it takes you right to the page. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how we would download this image and then upload it into OER Commons. So as we saw a moment ago, here's the download options. We'll click on this button here, which then allows us to download the image directly to our desktop. We'll save it. The image is now saved on our computer. We'll go back over to OER Commons and once again click on the Insert Media button. And here we have the option then to find the file on our desktop, and here it is. We'll open it. And then we're able to type in the image description. So this is a picture of the White House as our description. We can further add a description by copying and pasting it into the second box and click Submit. And there we go. And now this option, rather than just having a link to the URL, it's actually embedded that image directly into our document. And we have the ability, as you can see here, to format how the picture is shown on the page. And we also have the ability to get rid of the file name, which I'm doing here. And also you have the ability to change the name of the description of the picture. So let's shorten it up and make it just say White House, the White House. And here's an interesting option. If you click on reference, if you remember a moment ago, we had the APA citation before. Let's go over back to the image, click on cite this item. And again, here this is the MLA or the APA format. And we'll choose APA format. We'll copy that. Go back over to OER Commons to the Add a Reference, paste it, and there's our reference. Hit Save. 
and you'll notice then there is the footnote that all the way by at the bottom of the document there is our citation or our reference rather and as you know we have the reference section within our document so if you would rather just paste in the reference you can do that as well now let's go ahead and see how you would embed a YouTube video so same process uh, we click on insert media which pulls up the grab video image audio or document bar we hop over to YouTube and what you're going to want to do here is actually grab the URL that's at the top of the page and we'll go ahead and copy and paste that go back over to OER Commons and we're going to paste it into the box hit next and it populates with the name of the video as it appears in YouTube hit submit and there's our video so that could not be any easier and as we saw before with the images we have the ability to expand the description so we'll go ahead and, um, and do that now design proposal demo and if you want to again put in the reference you can put that in here and uh, we'll cancel that but you're able to put the reference the same way we just did on the image file and finally let's look at how we embed a document in this case a PDF same thing go up to our insert media button and we'll go over here and click on find our file let's go ahead and grab our college and career readiness standards document the PDF document we've been working with it uploads we hit submit and there it is and so when someone comes to use our lesson they can click on that and it will go ahead and launch the PDF that they can then download or print and then as another option we'll go back up to our insert media button and this time we're going to go ahead and grab a URL from the web to the PDF document so here is the copy from the um, links.ed.gov website go ahead and hit paste paste in that link to the PDF and this time they're asking us for a name to give it and so we'll type out college and career readiness standards hit submit and there is the link again so let's go ahead and see what this looks like when we hit preview we'll scroll down and there's the copy of our White House image there is our YouTube video and finally there is the link to our college and career readiness standards PDF so there you have it that's how you insert and embed three different types of media 